Hey guys, Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a kind of a serious issue of TXT being bullied. There's a lot of bullying going around. There's a lot of things and tweets that people are saying about TXT. And it's kind of interesting since they're still a rookie group. They're still new. They're still just starting out. So to have this much hate comments about them, it's just very interesting how people have so much to say already. They've been bullied since their debut and all that stuff. And they haven't been in any scandals or anything like that. So again, it's very interesting that these things are being said, but I want to get your opinions on a few things I want to discuss. Let's have a little kiki and let's get going. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to so be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, I'd like to be the first maybe to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. And as always, let's give some context first to what I'm actually talking about and then what the issue is. And then we'll get into some of the more recent things that have been happening. Since the start of their debut, TXT has had some issues with the K-pop community, all right? It just seems like there's some problems spurring up here and there within the community. When Subin first debuted their look on a Big Hit Entertainment's YouTube channel and his cute, adorable face, there were some issues with XOLs and them being really, really mad. Around that time, it was apparently EXO member Kai's birthday. And Kai was trending number one until Subin's debut, which then overtook that number one spot and Kai's birthday ended up being number two on trending, which makes sense. I mean, a debut, let's be honest, is a much bigger deal than a birthday. So for someone's debut, I would only imagine that they would end up taking number one. It's just respectful. It's just a nice thing to do. It's a nice welcome to the K-pop community. But of course, XOLs decided to attack Subin and bully him over the trending, saying that he took the number one spot and doesn't deserve to be trending. Mind you, he didn't tell people to trend this. This was something that other people wanted to trend, that TXT supporters, armies wanted to trend. Like, why are you so angry at Subin? It makes no sense to me. Now imagine Subin's reaction to his welcome to the K-pop community, to hate and to people not wanting him to trend. Saying things like calling him a loser and even saying that they will continuously bully him over and over again as his debut continues. Now, no wonder people go into hiding after their debut and after their comebacks because they're scared. Imagine him seeing all that and then being all sad and big hits like, Yep, welcome to being famous. Now, obviously, that was quite some time ago, and hopefully, Subin has healed from that. So things have changed now, right? No. Not exactly. Seems like some of these people have continued and kept their word on bullying a TXT and continuing to do so. They constantly get angry when TXT is at award shows, when they're winning awards, when they're performing, all of that stuff. Saying comments like this. No offense, but TXT performing at the NOAS and the MMA or the MAMA is actually sucks. And then of course they tagged the TXT members and used the hashtag. The thing about these tweets that bothers me the most is that they felt the need to hashtag and tag TXT. It's like, you have to see this. Like, go look. Because when TXT then goes under the hashtag, they're going to see it. You can have an opinion, but it shouldn't be at the cost of actually hurting somebody. It's like really just rubbing it in that like, we want you to see this hate that you're getting. Because it's one thing to have an opinion and say, well, I don't like them, they're not my favorite group, I think this group should have won. That is fine, that is an opinion, but to tag them is like, no, we really hate you. But they felt the need to say no offense, so it must not actually be offensive. We also have this account here, which is a TXT hate account. I didn't know such thing existed, and. Apparently quite a few of them actually do exist. The account goes as far as attacking a TXT and even saying that they should have never debuted it to begin with. It's quite frightening that there's accounts like this to begin with because our boys have done nothing wrong. And they definitely have not deserved anything to receive this type of hate. Again, they're not in any scandals or anything like that. Their music is also very chill and happy-go-lucky. It'd be one thing if like their music was like dark and whatever, then it would kind of call for this hate, but their music is like fun and upbeat. Anyway, let me know what you think about this and what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear your opinions on this whole situation. Situation. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, please make sure you check out my Patreon if you haven't already. I do reaction videos such as Wusan reaction videos over there from Matisse, Nam Jim Yumin from BTS. We also have BTS Bon Voyage, which is their reality show, and a BTS Run, which I also react to as well. And anything that you can send and donate over there is going to be contributed to this channel. So I hope you go ahead and check it out. That really helps keep the videos on this channel going. So thank you so much for doing that. Check the link in the top of the description down below. And with that said, there's also two videos at the end of this video. So I hope to catch you over there. See you then.